Hey loves, thank you so much for being here today on Dating Boutique TV. I have a quick Q&A today from a client in Chicago, and she goes by the name of Stephanie, and she writes, I was dating this guy for a few months when suddenly he stopped returning my calls. It's like he completely dropped off the face of the earth. When I did get a hold of him, he was so short with me that I never got a complete answer about what was going on. I feel devastated because we had amazing chemistry and passion. Bow chicka wow. <laughs> I thought he was the one. What did I do? I thought he was into me. Stephanie, this is a question I get all the time. And you're not alone, girlfriend. I think this has happened to most of us, whether it's been a first date and then the next day we're waiting for him to call to ask us out again and he never does. And our, we've been with the guy or been dating the guy for a few weeks or a few months and all of a sudden it's like he's dropped off the face of the earth. And we sit there and we wait and we wonder and we wait some more and he never calls us. And we start making excuses for him, like, he was in an accident. He might be in the hospital with a concussion, and he can't remember my name, and I need to find him somehow. Or he, he lost his phone, and he lost all his contacts. All those answers are, no, that's not what's going on. It's simply he is not that into you. So, I am going to give you just some basic, obvious tips that you can look for that he's not that into you and it's time to move on to the next hot thing down the street because that's never a bad thing. Okay, so number one that he's not that into you is he doesn't call you. Okay, if he was into you, he would find a way to call you. He would text you. He would find your best friend. He would Facebook message you. He would walk a thousand miles through rain, sleet, and snow in a desert <laughs> just to talk to you. And he knows the name of the game. If he doesn't contact you, he knows the next guy down the street will. So he will be on top of that if he likes you. Number two, he clearly tells you that he is not ready for a committed relationship. Like he's dating five other girls and you're all lovey-dovey and wanting a committed relationship. He is not that into you. Why are you still pursuing him? He's clearly just using you as one of his other girls. So, number one, God rule, you cannot change a man. You cannot change him. So, it's time to move forward. If he's not ready to commit, and you are, then you need to move ahead. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Go find one. Okay? Number three, he is ignoring you. Why do you continue to text him and act kind of stalkerish? You might be scaring him, and don't waste your time on somebody that is going to ignore you and not respect you enough to contact you. And there are plenty of men out there that are available and won't ignore you. So move on down the road to that next hot thing. Do not waste on your, your time on a man that is clearly unavailable. I promise you that that lovey-dovey feeling that you feel, all this chemistry and passion that you thought you had with this man, will soon move on to the next man that's available and chase somebody that wants to be chased and that wants to chase you too because then you'll end up in a fabulous loving healthy relationship and so today I want you to move on from those unavailable men and do something great for yourself go find love and I wish you all the best I'll see you next time love you bye